probably the uh, coolest feature on the airplane, also one of the, one of the hardest to design, probably only second to the, the canopy, is the uh, folding wing. So uh, we're going to give you a little demonstration. This is our, our manual folding wing. And um, gonna, it's a little hard to see all of this from, from where we'll be standing back here, but I'm going to try to narrate as he's uh, extending this wing. So we call it folding, is the, the motion to put it back where it is currently, and then extending it. So uh, Will is going to extend it for us. The first thing that he does is he grabs the bottom of the wing, which is actually the trailing edge of the wing. That is actually shaped to be a very comfortable surface. Most trailing edges of wings are very sharp for aerodynamic reasons. His other hand is on the wingtip handle that you've probably seen several times before. The first thing that he does is he has to lift up the weight of that wingtip. It's about 33 pounds that he lifts with, and he relieves the load from the hanging pin that's coming down from the horizontal tail. When he does that, he pushes with his forefinger down here, it releases a little button that takes that socket, opens it up, and it comes down off of, off of the uh, horizontal tail where it's hanging. Then he slides it back, he'll slide it back here about 18 inches or so, till it's fully extended, and then he's, he's going to fold it or extend it around to this side. Then he rotates it to uh, leading edge down until it's level and, and lines it up. And then he'll go ahead and pr proceed to push this in in one smooth motion. It usually takes a couple people a couple of tries to get practice at doing this, but after you've done it two or three times, you actually get uh, pretty darn good at it. And then down here at the root, he has a, a handle that is the, the locking handle that's hanging down from there. And you can see it up there in that photo, a uh, little mechanism that when it goes up and latches, it pushes two pins out that cross pins the, the main pins that holds the wing on. And as Kirk mentioned before, uh, the ergonomics and the tactile feedback was really important to us. And uh, right now he was showing extending the wings, but if we were actually folding the wings, when you go to unlock that lever, uh, the first thing you have to do is you have to push a latch out of the way with your forefinger. You push that out of the way, now you can pull it down. But it won't come down right away. There's actually a little ball detent there that's a second safety device. You snap through that, and then there's a friction to go down a, even further. So a third safety device to ensure that something so critical like this, you don't accidentally leave it in the unlatched position. You know it when you have actually taken it out of that position and made it unsafe. And the moment you do that, an enunciator light, lights up in the cockpit and tells you that your wing is unsafe. So there's no way you're going to forget that you, you have an unsafe wing and go fly with it. One of the enunciator lights is right, right in front of you. Well, what do you think, guys? Manual folding wings, not too bad, huh?